Saint Anne's Nursery and Primary School, Lalgudi. 49th Annual Report, 2022 to 2023. Learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge. Knowledge makes you great. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. A hearty welcome to our honorable chief guest, Mr. Sandra Pandian, MLA, Mr. Chandra Shegrin, District Educational Officer, Reverend Sister Axilia Jainti, the Provincial of Tanju, Reverend Sister Rajeshwari, the Educational Coordinator, Reverend Father Peter Arokyadas, VF, and the Paris Priest of St. Joseph Church, Lalgudi, Reverend Sister Merija Raji, the correspondent of our school, Reverend Sisters of all the neighboring communities, Reverend Fathers, correspondents of various schools, parents, teachers, students, and all the well wishers. I have great pleasure in presenting you the annual report for the academic year 2022 to 2023 of St. Anne's Nursery and Primary School, Lalgudi. I take this opportunity to thank the Almighty for His abundant blessings and guidance for the success of this academic year. The mission of our founders, Servant of God, Mother Nyanama, the desires of our former Superior General, Mother Carmel, the well-wishers of our Church, Father Santiago, the Paris priest of Lalgudi and the permission given by the Lalgudi Panjayat have been the inspiration to start St. Anne's Nursery and Primary School in the year of 1974 on 1st of July. After a long process on 23rd April 1991, our school was recognized by the government of Tamil Nadu. I am happy and proud to say that the student strength of our school is 456. There are 24 teachers, an office assistant and 8 non-teaching staff and we all work together with zeal for the betterment of the school. Now St. Anne's school is happy to have Reverend Sister Little Flower Mary as our headmistress. She is a multi-talented person. She is a social activist. She has received so many awards and rewards from both government and non-government sectors. This year, she received Jnana Pagalavan Award from the Lions Club, Lalgudi. A good number of constructive changes have taken place in our institution in order to match the demands of quality education and the rising competitive educational temperature. So, this small report on this day of our annual function highlights mainly our vision and mission, aims and objectives, admission policy, remedial measures to create a literate society and the relevant school experiments in our education ministry. Vision To provide humanizing and liberalizing education to form responsible citizens who in solidarity with others will create a new society. Strategies to offer value-based education, human rights education, social consciousness and awareness, personality development, joyful learning and inter-religious harmony. Policies Preference in admission to the poor and the underprivileged and special attention to the weak students and dropouts. Daily program of our school Students from 1st standard to 5th standard are given chances to conduct the morning assembly. During assembly, they present good thoughts on various themes in both English and Tamil languages. Students recite Holy Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Quran, Tirukural and Proverbs and read some important passages from them. Every student is free to follow their respective religious traditions and thus we help them to grow in religious harmony and humanitarian values. Development Whitewashing the school 
painting the compound wall and classroom with colorful pictures changing the iron staircase into a concrete staircase repairing stage six new computers have been installed in the computer lab tiny tots world for pre kg was introduced lots of play things were kept for the children to play joyfully 12 new colorful round tables along with small chairs have been bought for pre kg and l kg students another activity lab was arranged for the students to learn extra curricular activities like painting drawing dancing storytelling etc birds nest are created to enjoy the chirps of the birds teacher enhancement program we are aware that it's the teachers not the infrastructure facilities who make the changes thus we have arranged several programs to enhance our teaching faculties an orientation program for teachers was conducted for 3 days reverend sister little flower mary conducted art therapy and nlp program and explained 12 therapies father paula jaykumo conducted a seminar on how to be a good teacher father joseph justice conducted a seminar on media education staff meetings were conducted regularly to evaluate the quality of our performance and to plan for the future with more innovative methods of teaching and learning programs the annual planning for the year 2022 to 2023 was conducted on 20th june 2022 canvassing teachers from our school visited nearly 25 villages and distributed pamphlets for 3 days student orientation program to promote the competitive spirit and to bring out the talent of the students we encourage them to participate in various co-curricular activities competitions like drawing painting essay writing singing recitation eloquation dance and fancy dress were conducted during the course of the year orientation classes and art therapy was conducted by reverend sister little flower mary to all the students students are given orientation program to equip them for the future regular spoken english classes were conducted for students reopening The school was reopened on 13th June 2022. The staff along with the management welcomed the students and their parents. Activities. The science exhibition was conducted on 26th August 2022. Mr. Manigandan, the district coordinator of Tamil Nadu Science Forum, presided over the function. Students from LKG to 5th standard displayed the models and explained the projects reading festival was conducted by mr ilanje chenni director of film thedi kalvi he presided over the function all the students demonstrated their reading skills by wearing the mask of freedom fighters achievements and awards kalam education center conducted various competitions 628 students participated and more than 150 students got shields and medals 15 of our students got special prizes co-curricular activities our school students won the state level silambam competition and were felicitated with a trophy and certificate One week art and craft workshop was organized for the students. Ms. Divya conducted the program. She taught drawing, painting, coloring, quilling, high stick work, plastic mat work, embroidering, etc. Students also learned and crafts with enthusiasm. Celebrations Education Development Day was celebrated on 15th July 2022. Mr. Ilanjar Chenni, Director of Film Thedi Kalvi, 
presided over the function. Mr. Durai Manikam, chairman of the Panjayat of Lalgudi, commands the rally with the slogan, Avoid Plastic. St. Anne's Feast was celebrated on 26th July 2022. Reverend Father Paula J. Kumar offered the Mass. Parishioners and sisters from neighboring parish took part in the Mass. Independence Day was celebrated on 15th August 2022 in a grand manner. Mr. Ashok Kumar Krishnaswamy, the proprietor of AKS Motors, presided over the function. March past, mass drill and dance added color to the function. We started Tiny Tots Educational World Play School. Mrs. Kavita Ashok Kumar inaugurated the pre-KG. Parents visited the play school along with the play corner, study corner, food corner, water play therapy and sand therapy. Teachers Day was celebrated on 5th September 2022. Reverend Sister Mary Ethel Berg presided over the function. Students of 5th standard organized the whole program. Children from LKG to 5th performed cultural programs. Diwali celebration was held on 21st October 2022 by lighting the lamp. Sister Nisha presided over the function. Children performed wonderful dances. Children's Day was celebrated on 14th November 2022. Teachers entertained the students with varieties of programs including games, drama, dance, etc. All the teachers participated in the program. Christmas function was celebrated on 23rd December 2022 in a grand manner. Reverend Father Peter Arokya Das presided over the function. Dresses were distributed to the children who lost their parents during the pandemic. Pongal was celebrated on 12th January 2023. Column competition was conducted. Reverend Father Velangani presided over the function. Sweet pongal was prepared and distributed to all the students. The food festival was held on 17th February 2023. Sports were conducted for the students to encourage them and prizes were distributed. Joyful moments. We arranged an excursion for teachers and went to Nagarkoil and Kanyakumari for two days. The school has organized a one-day picnic program for the students. First standard and second standard students were taken to Butterfly Park on 20th January 2023. The students of third standard were taken to the planetarium on 25th January 2023. The students of pre-KG to UKG were taken to Deer Park on 1st February 2023. The 4th standard and 5th standard students were taken to Madurai on 11th February 2023 for an educational tour and visited all the places and returned joyfully. Parents Teachers Association We have the strong support of our parents which we cherish every year. The PTA meeting is an occasion to acknowledge their service to the school. We had meeting with the parents to discuss the teaching learning process. An open day was conducted on 15th October 2022 and on 7th January 2023. to provide an opportunity for the parents to meet and interact with the teachers reflection of our gratitude the fence is a protector for growing plants and trees we thank our school protector mr sagul amit and his wife lalgudi municipality council member of the 7th ward our thanks to our school world students alumni association for the tremendous help to our school kids mr suresh kumar the manager of the bank of baroda presented a round table for the lkg kids 
world students mrs christy presented a fan for our school and gave rupees 5000 for repairing the electrical equipment miss shivani and her family donated rupees 10000 for playthings for the tiny tots Mrs Swati and Ms Divya donated things for the other activities lab Mr Sugumar Navanidas and Mr Raj MRF tires donated dresses We express our heartful thanks to all Visit Our Reverend Mother Jayanti Provincial of Tanjore visited our school on 6th September 2022 She appreciated the creativity of her headmistress Reverend Sister Little Flower Mary for introducing Tiny Tots World Play School for Pre-KG. Our educational coordinator Reverend Sister Rajeshwari visited our school on 29th October 2022. She appreciated the performance of the students and encouraged the teachers. Mr Bala Murali CEO along with devo visited our school they inspect to certify our school as a minority school moral science and catechism inspections were held by our kumbagonam diocese on 14th october 2022 charity karikalan husband of our sweeper vasanti passed away a financial assistant of rupees 10000 was given to the family Responding to our school concerns we have been offering free concession to 18 students from economically disadvantaged families dresses were given to the students who lost either their mother or father our students and teachers donated a sum of rupees 14600 to Moses Cancer Institute Three students who donated more than rupees 1000 received shield and certificates. Five students who donated more than 300 were awarded gold medals and all the students who donated more than 200 were awarded silver medals. To conclude, 49 years of our journey so far has been grace filled. When we face challenges You are there to support each other. We appreciate everyone for helping us to reach new heights in our mission. This unity among teachers and parents and their commitment to the cause of education has given a new dimension and has shaped our identity as St. Anne's Teachers Community in our institution. Once again I extend my sincere thanks to one and all. Thank you Sister Little Flower Mary the principal.